Hello! Hello, my honey bees. It's your girl, Honey, and today I'm going to be eating Peruvian food. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. I got the lomo saltado, which is the steak, and some cilantro rice and seafood paella. And I also got the Inca cola. I think this is the Peruvian Coke. So let's try this. My ice. Ooh, it's yellow. Oh, what? I did not expect that. Interesting. You know what it tastes like? It kind of tastes like Korean Sprite, which is weird because it says it's cold. So let's try the steak. I got a whole bottle of the green sauce because I go ham with this thing. Let's spray it on here. Let's try this. Steak and fries. Look at this long fry. Yummy. Cheers! Mmm! Mmm! The green sauce has a nice kick to it. And then some rice. So the steak is chewy. Um, I feel like it's just like a salted steak, but what's different about this is this green sauce. I love the taste of this. I love the kick that it has. Interestingly enough, do Peruvians like the color green or yellow? Because their rice is green, their drink is like yellowy greenish. I really like the rice too. Mmm. Let's try the paella, the shrimp on top. Mmm. Mmm. Is this a Peruvian dish too? It kind of tastes like the Spanish paella that I've tried in Spain. Yum. Onions. <sighs> I know a lot of you guys have asked me to try Peruvian food. Here I am finally eating some Peruvian food. I did order another pasta, chicken pasta dish that was famous at this restaurant. But they forgot it. <laughs> I really wanted to try it because a lot of people said it was really good. Look at that. Mm. I wonder what's in this green sauce. It kind of reminds me of the Mexican green sauce. Let's try it on the paella. I think this is fish right here. Mm. I've tried um, El Pollo Inca before. And I really like their green sauce, but this place, I like the kick that it has. It's kind of spicy. Mmm. you guys what kind of music did you guys grow up listening to as you guys may or may not know I am a millennial I grew up listening to pop and then when I moved here to the states I started listening to hip-hop and R&B I fell in love with hip-hop and R&B and rap
I used to not like hip hop when I first listened to it in Taiwan because there was so much curse words in it, you know? And so I was like, no, I'm not gonna listen to this. But as soon as I moved here, everyone listened to hip hop, right? Mm. No, I was like, ooh, that beep. Ooh, that beat! And 50 Cent was getting really popular when I moved here. And then, that's all I listened to. A whole new door opened for me. I was super inspired by hip-hop fashion. So I was like really into like those lids, hat, Adidas track jacket. Echo. I don't know if you guys know Echo. Those were the days. Who can relate? I love 2000s hip hop and R&B. Mm, this is really good. Wow. The sauce is what makes everything better. Mm. Who would have thought steak and fries? You know what I really love about this dish? Are the onions. The sauteed onions. I think they saute it with a little bit of... um. Kind of soy sauce kind of stuff. Not exactly sure. But it's not just salt and pepper. Mm. You know, I realized hip hop back then, I thought it was very, very intense in terms of lyrics. But compared to now, I feel like hip-hop back then wasn't too bad. I remember when I was in middle school and it was that one song by 50 Cent. I forgot, oh, up in the club, in the club. And I didn't really know the lyrics because I don't know if, do you guys do that a lot? Like when you listen to the radio or any songs, you know, in your car, you don't really know what they're talking about sometimes. So you make lyrics up, right? And of course in middle school, I don't know any alcohol. So in the music, he says like something about Bacardi and some type of alcohol brands. And I would be like, up in the club, ball car, bus in the club. I'll make lyrics up. And I remember I was singing <laughs> in school and one of my friends was like, what, what did you just say, honey? <laughs> she started laughing. <laughs> I was in love with 50 Cent. Fitty. You know what the cutest thing was though? When I started listening to hip hop, my dad started listening to it too because I'll turn on the radio and I'll be listening to all this rap and R&B. And he starts following along. And I don't know if you guys remember Chingy, but his song Right There, Right There was really popular, right? <laughs> I know he's my dad, but it was just so cute to me. He would be like, Right there, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> Mm. 
My dad tried to be super hip and listen to all the songs that we listen to. My dad was pretty strict when I was growing up. But when we moved to the States a few years after we lived here, he started becoming more open and very hip dad. My dad was a cute dad. I'm trying not to cry. Uh, just talking about him reminded me of him singing like right there, right there. Sorry. There were so many times like my dad did things that were so cute to me. But in the Korean culture, you can't really call an adult or an older elderly person cute. And I told you guys I have a problem where I think a lot of things are cute. My makeup I'm like a panda right now. So like before I told my dad, ah, kiyawa, kiyawa, which means it's cute. And he would be like, like, how can you call an adult cute? And he was a little bit serious in the beginning, but later on he just like let it go. <laughs> and he let me call him cute. Zeno's looking at me like, oh my god, mommy, why are you crying? He's like, should I go there or not to comfort her? You guys yeah, see, see him? him? He was he sleeping. Was sleeping. <laughs> and then and I, was I was crying, crying and then, and then he, he like, like oh, 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 like, is she, is she crying? crying? Cause Cause I think he knows, knows my voice when I, when I cry. cry. It's okay, buddy. Wow, my tears are spicy. Note to self, try not to cry when you're eating spicy food. The food is really good. I'm crying because the food's so good. Try the muscle. Mm. It just reminded me because today I watched a video from Vice 
about the thong song. I don't know if you guys know the thong song, but that thong song was so popular. And it was my karaoke music that I would sing to kind of like hype everyone up. <laughs> the thong, the thong, thong, thong. You guys have to watch the birth of the thong song. It is pretty interesting. You'll be like, that's how the song was born? My respect for musician is like way up there. It's insane to me how they can come up like a music tone or any music out of nothing. They just go, <laughs> or like they'll listen to some type of beats and they're like, hmm, this will go, go with it. Do -do 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 -do. And they just like make up a whole music out of thin air. When I see musically talented people, I'm just like, wow. So mesmerized. You know, sometimes when I listen to music lyrics these days, I'm just like, what? They could play that on the radio? Like, you would never have imagined to hear those kind of words on the radio before. Let me know in the comments down below who you like listening to or who you grew up listening to. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like tomato in food, especially like cooked tomato. Not really my thing. I already used this much green sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna save half of this for my brother bean so he can try it. This is gonna be my last bite. Please don't forget to leave comments down below who you grew up listening to. I want to get to know you guys too. Because we are family. I got my honey bees with me. Last <laughs> bite. Sorry, tomato. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And to become a honey bee and like this video if you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye-bye.